Hello, welcome to my vlog. My name is Meg and I was diagnosed with ADHD as an older adult and I'm also part of Generation X. So I wanted to do my first series of ADHD symptoms. I do know that when I was researching everything, it was three types of ADHD, which was the inattentive, hyperactive slash impulsive, and the combination of the two. Now I'm learning that there's seven types, which I am not gonna get into because I really still need to do some research on it. But I do wanna point out that I am not a psychiatrist, neuropsychiatrist, therapist, doctor, anything like that. This is just purely my symptoms and what I'm dealing with. Today I have books with me because my memory is shot. But the first book that I have is ADHD Workbook for Women and it's really helped me. Uh, I think I got it on Amazon around Christmas time. But I wanted to talk about a lot of the symptoms that I have in terms of basically the stages of this, which is kind of uh, denial, grief, anger, depression, all that. It, it's, it's, it's quite a journey. I, I do wanna admit that I have been struggling a little bit lately. I do wanna talk about some of the symptoms today, not necessarily pointing out which one it is, if it's a combo or inattentiveness or hyperactive, but just some of the symptoms that I deal with starting with this list that I have. So it's, if I, if I show you the whole list, it, it'll take me all year. My main symptom is disorganization and losing things not once a day, but multiple times a day, to the point where I had to get a Google Nest in order to locate my phone all the time. However, I do lose my keys. It frustrates my dog because especially when I'm going to take him out for a walk, I will lose my sunglasses or my glasses or the leash. You know, I've, I've had his, his leash turn up in so many different places. So can't pay attention to details and make careless mistakes. That's a good one. That happens at work quite often and it happens at home quite often. I will do things such as, let's talk about my birthday. I had my poor dog in the bicycle seat I forgot to put the kickstand on so that I could get around and get on the bike and the bike fell over and I fell on top of it and basically caught it on my garage camera. Little details you kind of miss. In kayaking, I always forget one thing. I forgot my gloves. And now I have a little boo-boo right there. It's like a blister. One time I forgot my paddle. Very important. You can't do anything without the paddle. If I go to your house, if I visit from out of state, if I go to my parents' house, 10 out of 10 times I'm going to leave something behind. It's just the way I am. I I think a lot of it is because I'm focusing so much on like getting out and let's go, let's go, let's go, that I just gloss over and my dog is growling at me. So I think that I should conclude this vlog because when he growls at me like that, he wants to play and he doesn't like when I'm on the phone or talking to someone other than him, so he growls and he thinks I'm rude. Let's show you. Say hi, Biscuits. 
You think I'm rude? Yeah, I do have stuff on the floor. Sorry. You think I'm rude, biscuits? Yeah, I see you growling at me. Hmm? What do you want? You want your ball? Give me a high five. That's it, brother. So, next time, I think I'm going to get more into some of the symptoms that I have. And, um... If you like to see more content like this, like and subscribe. Have a good one.